we're asked to evaluate negative two times f of negative six plus g of one. And they've defined, at least graphically, f of x and g of x here below. So let's see how we can evaluate this. Well, to do this, we first have to figure out what f of negative six is. So our input into our function is negative six. So and we'll assume that's along the horizontal axis. So our input is negative six. And based on our function definition, f of negative six, f of negative six is seven. So this thing, let me write this down, f of negative six is equal to seven. And what is g of one? g, g of one, well once again, here's our input axis. And then the function says that g of one, which is right over there, is negative five. g of one is equal to negative five. So this statement simplifies to negative two times f of negative six, which is seven. So times seven plus, plus g of one, which is negative five. So plus negative five, which simplifies to, let's see, negative two times seven is negative 14 plus negative five, which is negative 19. And we are done.